Instruction here. So, and the instruction said you should not be allowed to see her. So you stop disturbing us. You are carrying this instruction too far, mm -hmm. supervisor. Because I'm sure you are not married. If you are married, you will not be doing this. You are venting your your, your your frustration on me. At your age, you are not married. You are still chasing a reverend sister. At your age, my dear, you are frustrated, Mr. Killjoy. I'm going to marry her, whether people like it or not. Go and supervise the old lady you are your, your, your supervising at home. I leave this young couple to get married. And I'm going to work here. If the doctor like let the doctor come. Let all the doctor, let whoever, even the Pope. I'm ready to stay here and work it out. They cannot see the only thing God has given to me. You say your supervisor. With couple all over your neck, which shows how heavy you have been from childhood. I'll wait. God, this way, just a Okay. Rose! Rose! Please, please, please. Sister! Sister! Please! Rose! Rose, Rose, please. You think she wants to talk about one or two things? Please, I don't want to disturb you. No, 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 I'm not here to embarrass you. No, sir, no, 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 just... No, 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 off your feet. Off your feet. Let's go. Let's just go. Off your feet. Off your feet. No fear. Listen, listen. I promise I'm not going to create any scene. I'm not going to do it. Sister, please tell her for me. Let me just talk to you. Can't I talk to you? Can't we have time for us to talk? No fear.
That's all I ask for is just a little audience. What do you want to say? The same thing she said yesterday, not so. Rose Kate, I am ready to marry you. I have prepared. A very long time I've been preparing for this marriage. It cannot be, be, be broken. I loved you as a girl. I still love you as a woman. In spite of whatever you are. Don't you have respect for God? For God's sake, I am a reverend sister. God's property. Can't you see I'm wearing a veil? I have made a vow to serve God all my life. And to be his handmaid on this life's journey. Break that vow and come to me. What? It is ordained. Divorce that relationship. Come and get related with me. Let us get married. That is what God sanctions. Sister Roskate, please drive off. I'm sorry, I, I have to leave now. If you leave, I'll still follow you. Please, you drive, drive off, off, okay? There is a red jeep coming behind us. Do not open the gate for him. Yes, sister. You hear me? Yes, sister. I want to go right back in the car. They said I should not open the gate for you. Who said you should not open the gate for me? Sister Sarah and Sister Rostate. They just came back now. Man, I'm saying open the gate. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Now, now. I, I just can't open the gate. You don't accept bribes here. Yeah, 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 it's a holy place. You don't accept bribes here. Here's a holy place. Okay, fine, fine. The inside is a holy place. Come out, we are seen as a place. At least if you take the money, it will be your own, then you enter the holy place. You don't have the problem. Go home, Oga. I should go home. Go home. Now listen, let me tell you. Listen! Rose Rose! Rose Get down! You've got a problem coming because I'm not going to leave this gate. I'm going to block your gate. Until you, you have to help me in. It's not a so that the mother superior can come in. She's the person in charge of this convent. Listen, if you want me to remove this car, then open this gate, let my car enter, then your mother superior can enter. Good morning, sir. Good morning, mother. Please, what's the problem? We are blocking the gate. The problem is that he has refused to open this gate so that I can enter and see Rose Kate. That is the problem. Are you afraid? Open the gate for him and let him enter. 
Sister Janet, Sister Rosky is actually not allowed this man in. You mean she already knows he's here? No, oh, sister. Please, sir. I'm afraid you have to go. The sister you came here to visit, according to what you just said, does not wish to see you. We do respect, mother. I'm afraid I don't have to go because this man is telling a lie. If you know you're not telling a lie, ask Roskate to come here and tell me in my face that she doesn't want to see me. Then I go. Then probably I'll tell her one or two things about our history. You talk as if you've known Roskate for a very long time. Mother, I know Roskate since she was a toddler. I watched this girl grow. If I don't need to so much. Mother Superior, go to the village. Ask people about the love life of John Bull and Roskate. They will tell you. It's okay. Take it easy. I'll be back. Just wait for me. You, open the small gate for me. Yes, sister. Why didn't you tell me this before? I thought I could handle it. I didn't want to bother you. You should have at least mentioned his coming here yesterday to me. I'm sorry, Mother. I didn't know he would insist. <sighs> you know what I think? I think you should see him. Sit him down. Talk some sense into him. If you keep avoiding him, with what I saw out there just now, he will keep coming. He must take the bull by the horn. Mother, what do I tell him? What words do I use? I have told him everything I can, but he still won't let me be. You've told him everything. But you've not told him the thing that will make him stop coming. My child, you must be right. You just have to. That is my advice for you. Thank you very much for everything. I appreciate it. No problem. Just come tomorrow evening. She's promised to um, speak with you at length, okay? I'll be here tomorrow in the evening. Thank you so much, Mother. Life without you, my love, my love is making life unbearable. Life without you, my love, my love is breaking my heart. Life is breaking you, my heart, my love. It's making me go crazy, crazy. Please come back to me, come back to me. And share in my oh, world yeah. without you, my love. My love is making life unbearable. I don't know life what to you, do, my love. Ooh. It's breaking my it's heart. Breaking my heart. Making me go crazy, making me go crazy. Please come back to me, come back to me, and share in my world. So, are you sure you can handle him alone? Of course I can handle him. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, then let me wait for you in the car. Um, we don't have enough fuel in the car, so why don't you go with the car, get some fuel and come back immediately. Remember, we have to be at the children's ward within the hour. Alright. God guide you, my dear. Thank you so much, Sister Sarah. Alright, you're welcome.
want something to drink? No. What do you want from me? Jumbo, after 10 years, what do you want from me? The way you sound, it's like you've come to fight me. Did you come for a fight? I have come to tell you to stop coming to my convent. Okay, stop coming there if the only thing you come for is to ask me to drop my veil and marry you. Roskate, well, that is the only reasonable reason for me to come. And I will insist until you change your mind. Roskate. Well, I remember when you used to come to the village, you used to come to my shop and all that. You know, I'll be teasing you, you're my wife. You'll be saying, you're not your wife and all that. You know, jocularly like that. I still have that affection. In fact, it has not, in fact, it has even increased because of the time gap now. But the way it sounds, the way you sound, it's like you have changed. Have you changed? For God's sake, it's been a decade. Ten years! How long have you been a reverend sister? It doesn't matter, okay? What matters is I am now a reverend sister. Mm. It is what I have chosen for myself. Nobody forced me into it. Look, I am happy like this, okay? I love to serve God. It seems to me like you have just forgotten about me. You have erased me from your memory. There is no affection. There is nothing. You know, you don't even care. I care about you. I was happy but shocked to see you when you came back again. But things are just the way it is. You can't change it. Roskate, I left the shores of this country not just for selfish reasons, but for us. Though you may not understand, you know, the kind of feeling I used to have for you there pushed me into looking at our future and trying to see if I could get greener pastures just, just for our future. I left the shores of this country. I took risks. I entered into fire. I entered into water. I did everything just for us to have a comfortable future. Now, after all this toiling and this boiling and everything, it looks like, uh, you know, you have... I, I can't explain it. You sound like you are afraid that probably God will get angry with you for removing your veil. But let me tell you, I still serve the same living God. And I can ask God to give me this one thing. Do me this one favor. And I'm sure God is going to oblige me. So that will eliminate your fear. Yale. What? He's convulsing? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll be there, okay? I'm going to ask you. There's an emergency at the Emergency? Emergency? Where are you in hospital? Just at the hospital. What? What? What happened? What, what, what? Mr. Sarah is in a traffic jam, and I have to get to the hospital. Your car? Yes. I will be obliged to take you. Let me take you there. You this will. This is an emergency. Why not? I'm Thank you. This way.
Давай за кофе. Is uh, coming back tomorrow. It's no longer running temperature. Yeah, he'll soon be fine. Thank God we're here on time. Um, thank you very much for helping me save his life. Rose, for you I can do simply anything. Just anything. I can save life for your sake. I can even kill you that will make you happy. And I mean every word of it. Um, nurse! Please stay with him, okay? Monitor him. Yes, I'd love to hear anything. Okay. Thanks, Okay. So, you said there's nothing in this world you don't do for me? Nothing. I'll admit it. Nothing. Okay. Please. Please, John. Please help me to serve God. Stop asking me to drop my veil. Look, I'm helping you serve God. You can still serve God in marriage. That is what I want you to understand. It doesn't necessarily mean that you must isolate yourself from man in order to serve God. After all, God created Adam and then created Eve. Are you trying to say that God contradicts himself? If God had wanted the thing to be like that, probably after creating Eve, he would have put a veil on, on Eve and said, do not marry. But God says, go to Adam. The two of them were together. That is the way you, you see the way I was helping you run around for, for, for this kid. That is the way God means it to happen. A man and a woman helping each other. That is the way it should be, those kids. That's not true. God supports my vocation. Nobody is doubting it. God supports your vocation. God will also support you even in marriage. You can continue to render help in marriage. Tell me any place in the Bible where it is written that a woman should not marry just because she wants to serve God. No, it's not written. All the priests of the old got married. In fact, people of the God were even marrying many wives. David, for instance, Solomon, and all that. Do you think God is foolish to have allowed these things to happen? He says in the scripture, go into the world, increase and multiply. You see, have you ever imagined what it will look like? Seeing your children move around. You know, just watching your children, your boys, your girls and all. You kind of joy, you kind of fulfillment. Every child is my child. God has given me an open mind to take the world's children as mine. They are the images of children I will never have. Listen, God wouldn't have given you a womb if God doesn't want you to use that womb. Are you trying to say that God is contradictory? Listen. You are going to have your own children. In fact, our children. We're going to have two boys to be. <laughs> let me be. Let me be. Let me be. Let me ask you something. Chris Kate. What do you do? How do you keep warm during cold weather? You know, Amatan or something? I have a blanket. I cover it. Chris Kate, blanket is a piece of cloth. I'm a human being. I talk. Blankets don't talk. I can call you, I can, I can give you what if I advise while in bed. Blankets don't do that. Look, I have made up my mind to give up all earthly and marriage pleasures. Earthly and marriage pleasures. So which means what you're saying is that all those people who are married are evil. Are they, they do not serve God, you know. They are sinners. I, I have not said so. My dear wife, 
you seem not to understand even the principles of the supreme being god i am not your wife you're my wife i am not <laughs> what's funny i remember those years back when we used to haggle about this kind of a thing remember those arguments then i am not your wife you see it you have come again though. there are no people here you've not carried one on my head no, you're my wife i'm not your wife I didn't spoil things terribly. No. Mr. Jumbo brought me here. He saved his life. We? As in you and Jumbo? <laughs> no, I mean, I saved his life. Okay. What is he still doing here? Hmm? I can see both of you are trying to catch up on old times, eh? Sister Sarah. But it is true now. Let's go back to the convent now. Bye, Mr. Jumbo. Thank you for everything. Will I see you tomorrow? Bye. I said, will I see you tomorrow? Why don't you spare me this one? You know my mind, you know how honest I am. Give me this lady. Give me this girl, God. Even if you have to do it to me as a favor. And I promise you, I'm going to give you a surprise and sacrifice. Please, God. But I am only interested in her continued dedication to this vocation. And that is why I am telling you, Mother, that man is a complete distraction to Sister Rose Kate. And I think you have to do something fast to stop him from seeing her. Hmm. Sister Sarah, thank you for telling me this. Even before you told me, I had already called the bishop on this matter, but he told me to watch things a bit more. But from what you say transpired at the hospital yesterday, I think I'll have to tell the bishop about it again. Once again, I say thank you for telling me. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome, Mother. Let's see, we soon join. Okay? All right, Father. Thank you very much. Something to drink? No, Father. I'm okay. Thank you very much, Father. Your 
is a man I have known for a very long time now. He just came back and asked me to marry him. But I have refused. Do you want to leave your vacation? No, your lordship. Do you love this man? I was only 15 years old. I loved him with the love of a teenager. He was very kind to me. And now, do you still love him? Your Lordship, why are you asking me these questions? I need to know where your heart lies, Sister Rosket. With our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, or with this man? My soul belongs to God. My spirit belongs to my vocation. But my heart still, still cares about this man, Your Lordship. But what is a heart without a soul? God has the better ones. My soul and my spirit. You still love him? Only in my heart, your lordship. But it doesn't matter. If I were not a reverend sister, I would have denied that I love him still. But I cannot lie. What I have told you is the truth. As God wills. Do you think a retreat will do you a lot of good? A tremont retreat of prayers and the renewal of your vow that way you keep away from him a retreat will do me good your lordship in that case i will instruct your mother superior to place you on a three month retreat course within which you will not be allowed to have a visitor only prayers a replacement will be found for you in the hospital Um, mm, the bishop of uh, this diocese, his lordship, uh, Bishop Josiah Jones, has written a letter to the knights of this parish and has mandated them to get into the root court of your son, John Bull, disturbing my daughter, Rose Kate, in the convent in the town. Uh, has therefore asked me to come with these two knights to your house not only to ask you to invite your son home and ask him to desist from what he's doing but also to give us his address in the city so that we can go to that place and see him mm. thank you Mr. clement i've heard what you said uh, my question is does any one of you have anything to add to what he said? Yes, nine. The activities of your son, John Boo, is not only grave and sacrilegious, but could cause embarrassing questioning to the sacredness of this parish. Sacletus here and I represent the nine knights of this parish. Mazi Clement has already voiced the stand of the knights. We are out to defend our faith and the integrity of our church. Yes, a knight is a warrior of the church. Even your son, Jumbo, knows this. Of course, he knows. Thank you very much. My answer is simple. I have hardly been to the city since my retirement from the civil service. I don't know Jumbo's address in the city. I don't know Jumbo's activities in the city. If you can go to the city and find him, I'll be very glad because I want to see my son too. <laughs> What I mean is that the excuse you've just taken is not sufficient. I have told you to go to the city. Yes, but how can you tell us you don't know your son's address? You don't know his whereabouts, you don't know what he does in the in the city. Uh, now, how do we go about getting him? Sacletus, mm -hmm. let that not give you sleepless nights. Yes. If he chooses to live in the holes, there are ways to reach at him. Of course, no means your words. We will get at him at any time we want to. 
That's the thing. I'm lost without you, darling. Come back to me forever, together. Oh, my love, can't you see? Can't you see? My heart is broken, heart is broken. Please come back to me, to me. Remember when we used to play together, and I said you'd be my wife forever. Where did the love go? Where did the love go? Remember when I gave you things and money, and I gave my heart to you, my honey. Where did the love go? Where did the love go? My love without you, my love, my love is making life unbearable. Sister, I've been looking for a uh, rose kit. For the past five days, I haven't seen her. I went to a uh, convent or some other location, but nobody would uh, open the gate for me. And even here, I came asking the receptionist, they uh, just like a uh, plain tricks. But I'm not convinced. I know that she's here somehow. Oh, Mr. Jumbo, Sister Rose Kate has been replaced here with Sister Philo. Yes. All right, at least, uh, can, I, can I follow you to the convent to... So they will open the so I can see her. I just want to see her and uh, be that goodbye because I want to go back to Gabon. You? Yeah. Yes. Go back to Gabon? Yes. Is that a trick? No, it's not. Anyway, Mr. Jumbo, Sister Roskate has gone into a three months prayer retreat session on the order of a bishop. Within this period, she is not allowed to see anyone or receive any visitor, even her own parents. What? No, she will see me. She will see me. <laughs> 
I think she will see me. She has to. I mean, I can't, I can't go to Gabon without, without seeing her. Sorry, Mr. Jumbo. It's a prayer session. Thank you. All right. Can, can I at least, uh, uh, sister, what's the address of the bishop? Have a nice day, Mr. Jumbo. No, uh, she has to see me. She has to see me. I have to see her. said he doesn't wish to see you. Why? I don't know, but he said I should tell you that there is a summon by the knights of your village that you should come back to the village immediately. Knight of my village? Who the hell is a knight of my village? That should summon me? The person you will call knight is darkness. He does not know the XYZ of religion and he goes to you people. He stays there and does what he likes. He doesn't even, he's not even religious what to talk about being righteous. Is that the person you want me to go and live my life here and then go and answer his silly talk? Can I see the bishop now, please? He has said his word and that is final. It is not final! For kingdom said only God's word is final. And what is final here is that giving me respect is so precious to me. Just like your cassock is precious to you, just like your scapula is precious to you, would you like to lose them? Please. May you leave. I will not leave. Bishop! Stop shouting here. I will shout to sky heaven because you people are holding my life here. You have sisters. Why don't you take these sisters and put them in the covenant and give me one single person that God has ordained for me? Okay, wait a minute. Bishop, please listen to me. Listen, if you are truly a man of God, you have to come down here and listen to me. Because this is a man in desperation. I is the only one person in this world, and that person is worth my life. If you people want to take my life, then take that girl. If you people are sad enough to know that something is important to a man, then let a man have it. If you know that you are religious, if you people pray to a living God, get me what is this? What is this? Gentlemen, may I please gently lead him out of this place and do not let him into this compound again. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Sorry, please, before you do that, are you married? Do you intend to marry? If you intend to marry, if you take me out of here, may the wife you're going to marry be taken out the same way. I said, take him out of this place. Thank you. I will, please, don't touch me. God is going to judge every one of us. Bishop, your staff of office is important to you. God has given me a staff of life, and that is to escape. Take him out of this place. Are you looking at him? Please. Don't touch me. I will go. Please, please. But let me tell you, God is going to judge the whole lot of us, including you, including you, including the bishop. Even who am I? It's impossible. God is going to judge all of us. Don't shout. Please, please. Don't shout here. I can shout. No, 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 no. I have a right. I can shout. Take him out. All right. Don't worry. Life without you, my love. My love. 
love is making life unbearable. Yeah. Without you, my love, my love is breaking my heart. Is breaking you, my heart. My love is making me go crazy. Crazy. Please come back to me. Come back to me. I'm sharing my world oh, yeah. without you. I don't know what to do. My love is breaking my heart. It's breaking my heart. My love is making me go crazy. Making me go crazy. Please come back to me. Come back to me. Sharing my world. Dearest Lord of the Vineyard, help me to hold on to my vocation, to make sacrifices for God, to lose my life for God so that I can find my life through God and in God. May I and all the ordained servants of God in this world take up the example of our Lord Jesus Christ as he has sacrificed his blood for our true emancipation from sin and the world. May we never be weak in our hearts and our bodies to make sacrifices for God. Eternal Father, I offer thee the body, blood, soul and divinity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in atonement for my sins and the sins of the whole world for the sake of his most sorrowful passion. Have mercy on me and the world. Amen. My child. Yes, mother. The bishop is here to see you. I'm coming, mother. Okay. I played down on the madness of this young man called Jobu. But now I think he is getting out of hand. And unless a drastic measure is taken against him, he will continue to be a worse nuisance than he is. Your Lordship, I am sorry. If this is my fault, then I am really sorry. Whatever you want me to do to stop him from acting the way he's doing, I will do it. Sister Rosquet, do you have any objection if I allow the Lord to take his curse on this matter? That is to say, I will instruct Sister Janet here to call in the police and get him arrested should he come in here again to molest our kid man and disturb the peace of this religious community. My dear sister Roskit, do you have any objection to this? Honestly, I don't think this is a matter for the police yet. I don't want him to be arrested. But what I'm trying to say is, he may truly love me. I mean, I mean he, he may mean no harm. He might just be expressing his true feelings for me. Feelings? Feelings for a reverend sister? But you know this is not appropriate. In other words, you still feel something for him? Your Lordship, I am in prayers now. When I am through with my retreat, I'll be in a better position to answer that. You can now go back to your prayers. We will still take our decision. As you wish, Your Lordship. Sister Jenny, yes. not an outright arrest. Just get the police to take him in if he comes around here again. 
let them tell him that he should not be seen around this religious community anymore. Yes, Your Lordship. I'll take care of that. Hey, good food. Mama, when is uh, when is Papa going back? Uh, he will soon be back. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yes. In fact, you have better come in and rest. You have just come from a long travel. Now. Don't worry, Mama. Eh? I will come in. I will, I will rest. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm coming in. Huh? They told me, but I did not believe it. I said, let me come and see with my two naked eyes. <laughs> I was Lagos. Lagos is a fan, my brother. So you are a big man. That means poverty will never kill me again in this world. Lagos is fine, no? This year is good, no? <laughs> this year is very good. <laughs> I don't take your bag in first. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> my brother. God will bless you. <laughs> hey, let's go in now. Huh? I'm taking your bag. Ah, thank you, okay. Yeah, you are sweet, you are sweet, you are sweet. Rosicate love you, and I know that. So carry on with whatever you want to do to win her back. I will support you. If I have just one. Just one supporter, one good supporter, I will achieve my dream. Thank you. You know what you have to do? You will give me money so that I can get the youth. If I organize the youth and they make a noise, if they make a noise in this village, mm, those who are not paying attention will pay attention immediately. I should give you money. Anthony, I learned you sold my shop. Where is the money you realize from that? Chambu, is this what we should be talking about? Well, after 10 years of separation, me and you... What nonsense are you talking? You sold my shop and you said, is that what you are talking about? Which means to you, it doesn't even matter. Instead of apologizing. Jumbo, I am sorry. I am sorry. You know, it's a hardship. It's the hardship in the village that made me. You know, I wanted to go to Lagos. See, let me tell you. Benji is a liar. I was not staying with the prostitute. I was staying with my girlfriend in her one room. Until I got a, a room to stay. And Benji came to the village to spread that I was staying with Anakunakuna. Your girlfriend? Your girlfriend who is not a prostitute? Is that what you are trying to, 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 to claim? Anyway, Anthony, we shall trash that one <coughs> later. Let me leave it for now. If there's anybody who knows anything he can do on getting my rose case, that is the paramount thing. So all those your case, we will trash it later. Thank you very much. You see, that is the main reason why I came back. When I had in the village meeting in Lagos that you are back in the village and that you are struggling to get the Rosicate back, I, I said to myself, why? Is it not the same Rosicate? The same Rosicate that you are spending money on, spending money buying book, dashing. I, I said I must come back and this is me now. Come back and do what? How do you intend to help? <sighs> like I told you before, if you give me money, let me organize the youth. You know they are young people. Once they are on your side and we march to the parish priest's house and we make a noise. We make a noise so that they will allow they will allow Rosket to see you anytime you go to that place. Rosket will come out and tell you her mind. You know she has the right to drop her veil and marry you. You know that. Oh, my God. 
What is the name of It is not you we come to see. It is the Reverend Father. But ah. so, well, Father is not around. He has traveled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Father is not around. He, he has, has traveled. traveled. In that case, we will deliver the message to you. You will return pass it to the Reverend Father. That's right. The youth of this village, we are no longer happy. The suffering of Zambul has reached our heart. <laughs> and we have come to tell the Reverend Father that we are no longer happy. The way and the manner in which we are handling Rosicate and Dumbo's matter. Rosicate and love Dumbo. Too much. Too much. You should not be kept away from Dumbo at all. At all. So Rosicate should be allowed to come out to choose who she wants. There are cases I have seen. Cases where even sisters, with the reason so, with the very good reasons, come out from their convent to marry who they want. Yes, yes. Is that not so? Yes. Yes. Who does it know that Dumbo? Has come back from travel to choose her precious hand in marriage. She should be allowed to marry Dambul. You hear me? Yeah. So tell the Reverend Father to pass it to those it may concern. Yes. That we have come to tell you this. But let no bottle. There is no bottle. <laughs> So tell him, oh, tell your son to stop bringing out my daughter's leg out in the public. What she is today, she chose to be. It's her own choice and free will. So leave her alone. Let your son go and look for another girl to marry. Hmm. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. Once, this is what you came to my house this evening to tell me. You have provoked me, Clement. Not so. Why, 20 years younger, I would have given you a very hot slap for John Bruno to go and seek for another wife. I will never ask your daughter if she does not want to remove her white cloth and the veil and follow my son. Have you ever asked that question? Papa, what has Master uh, Clement come to say? As a fair man to tell you what your daughter told me. Has a Clement anything in the matter? Yes, I have come to plead with you to please leave my daughter Roskate alone. Please. Tineke, I thought you had a lot of sense. I didn't know that you need to buy some more. Because the one you have is not even enough. Hi. No, it's okay. How can you say such a thing? It is okay. You want me to leave your daughter alone? I thought that, I mean, any right thinking person would have known that before you ask somebody to leave something alone, you must have seen the person holding the thing. You understand? I'm not holding your daughter. Your daughter is not even any place around this vicinity. And you're saying leave your daughter alone. Okay, fine. If you want me to leave her alone, why don't you bring your daughter? So that people will see me holding her. So that you'll be justified in saying leave my daughter alone. I think that should have been the right thing. Don't mind him. Go straight, you have been doing everything for. You see? Buying boost for her. Giving her money for pre-breed wages and giving her money for school provisions. The moment she became a human being, he drafted her into a convent to wear a veil. No, it's okay, it's okay. Hey, Papa, it's all right. Let us not you know, worry about this matter. Yeah? Just go inside. Yeah? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. If you want to, you can come in and take you know, some hot drink. Yes. Because there are some. After all, I mean, whether we like it or not, you're still going to be my father-in-law. Yes. Okay? Come, come in and drink. My husband, there's a way you look at this matter and you want to blame John Paul. He's a man in love. Remember how it was so many years ago when you wanted to marry me and you were coming for my hand. My father refused 
because he, he didn't want me to marry from your village. You invited the parish priest and had him questioned on why one Christian should discriminate against uh, the other. You even confessed that you hated my father on that account and demanded that we should run away and get married somewhere else. Mm, well, that was uh, then we were free. Not a woman who has taken a vow to God to remain unmarried and to serve Him. But feeling is feeling. Love is love. John Poole had loved Rose Kate long before she took her religious vows. And uh, Rose Kate loved him in the town. So it seemed. My husband let Rose Kate choose for herself. She has done so. She said no. No. What's wrong with you, woman? What's your problem? No, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't mm. have any problem. I'm just trying to help the situation. Uh, Papa, I intend to go back to the city tomorrow to see if I can go and uh, fish out uh, the skit. And I wish to go with uh, Antonio here. And I'm sure by now, these people would have gotten the message from our youth. Maybe the parish priest or whoever would have told them. So we want to go and know exactly what the situation is now. Well, um, I have nothing against a man chasing the object of his heart in a lawful manner. I uh, only advise you to avoid violence. More especially now that you are going with uh, your cousin Antony. Uh, you know, Antony likes to fight. <laughs> I will not fight. Nothing will make me fight in this case. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as you told you how his uh, marriage was prevented uh, sometime because of fighting some years ago. No, we didn't. Uh, so you didn't tell me that. <laughs> it is not everything a man will open his mouth and talk. You know. <laughs> I wanted to marry a girl, and I went out with my girl, and some boys found my trouble. I had to fight and break their head with the bottle. My girl became afraid and cancelled our introduction right. <laughs> but that was who will, play, who will not play? Who will play the game? <laughs> when you could start breaking them, when you haven't even done introduction. <laughs> After introduction, who knows what would have happened? I'm a born again now. I will not <laughs> fight. <laughs> anyway, that is bad work. Yes, sir. Um, like I said before, do not be violent. And as you said, that is only rules you want. Yes, See that? Hear from her for the last time and take your final decision. I will. You know, you know what you want. You know, I did not uh, want you to look for her. I didn't agree, but now I have agreed. It is a uh, You are not allowed to go into the rooms. Whenever you need anything, just place a call through to the reception and we will send the porter to your room, sir. Is the porter fine? You know I like to polish things. <laughs> anyway, how are we going to do it? I don't! Take 
this kid go to your room and sleep. We have a lot of work to do tomorrow. Now that people just say that what they said about you is true. And you were denied it. That you write your letters to live with prostitutes. Is it not a manifestation? Go ahead. It's okay. My big brother, my big brother, he said I should go to my room and rest. Then after resting, we will know how to discuss it. There is nothing to discuss after resting. It is work. What is wrong with you? Look, if your waist is itching you, demobilize it too. Better remove everything that is itching you there because we are here to walk. Do you understand me? Yes. The idiot, he will not open the gate. Ah, so this is the way he behaves. Okay. This is the final bus stop. So you will not open the gate, eh? Ah, you don't want to open this gate for my big brother. You don't want to open this gate. Eh? Ah, Tinaka, you are just a dummy rock. I will tell you that I'm Ben Johnson. Wait, I will jump to this gate now. Nonsense. I'm going to stay here. No, 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 ah, Why, why, why? Well, allow me to jump on this gate. No, you can't. Okay. Let me unclamp it. I will open it. You must open this gate. If I, if I climb that place. I don't know. Ah, no, 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 no. Come down, come down, come down, come down. Don't worry. Ah. Don't do anything embarrassing. Okay. This thing is burning my heart. I have to start. This is burning my heart. How about this? Okay. But that do something for me. Yes. Something. Just come. Oh. Stay here. What, what, what do you mean? Do you know how much I bought this coat? Look and look at this piece. And what about it? I just want to help you. I have always told you, whenever you're going out with me, don't leave your brain behind. And you have left your brain behind again. Huh? Let us let me jump. Let me jump. Just help me. Let me jump and open this gate. Yeah, just leave the this. They will open this gate. Once it's in, they go come in and go out. Okay. So they will. <laughs> Sister Sarah. Sister Sarah. Sister Philo? Sister Lovely? Wilfred, what is the matter? They are climbing our fence. What? Who? Mr. John Bull and another man. Holy Mary, Mother of God! Jungle is here again to disturb our peace. Eh? This time, he and his friends are shaking the gate so loudly that they are even making an attempt to climb the fence. Honestly, this is getting out of hand. I think I'll have to call the police. No, mother. Please, let me go and see him. No, you are not allowed to go out or see any visitor. Mother, I am the only one who can talk to him. I am the only one who can calm him down. Please, mother. Let me just go out there and see him. This is not a matter for the police. No, you can't! Mother, I, I'm so, sorry, I, I, I have to... <laughs> Here waiting for you. No, let's get it. Tineke, 
I would have, you would have seen the mighty eagle now, eh? I would have bring down this door. <laughs> look, look, let's just leave here, okay? We need to talk. Okay? You want us to leave this place? Uh, yes. Hey, let's leave. Yeah, let's leave. I would have. Hey. Yeah. Hey, no. Hey. 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 You don't want me to. Okay. Hey. This is not. Sister Rose Kate. Yes, Mother. On the orders of the bishop, and on account of your disobedience to us not to leave your room while on retreat, in view of the recent issues going on, on account of your past association with Mr. Jumbo, we have no choice but to ask you to leave. We no longer consider you one of us. I, 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 I did nothing wrong. To, to maintain peace. I went out to take him out from our gate and to tell him that I do not wish to marry him. Sister Rose Kate, your heart is with him and has been since you were a child. You admitted this before the bishop. No. My soul and my spirit belong to God and my vocation. No, my child. You must give all to God. Your heart, your spirit and your soul. No one must be left out. That is the true way to keep your religious vows. Well, we your superiors have decided that this religious house has suffered enough harassment on account of you. And you are not even helping issues by being disobedient. Therefore, we have decided that you cease to be one of us immediately. Does his lordship know about this expulsion? Yes, he does. Sister Rosgate, please, take this in good faith. And remain prayerful, even as you drop your veil. <sighs> you have until tomorrow morning to pack your belongings together and leave us. It's okay. <laughs>
chose to send her away. Sir, our vocation is a soft and fragile vocation. It requires no spot or dot of controversy, disobedience, and even attraction to the eyes of the public. Else, we will begin to deal with scandals every day. We don't want that. That is why our rules on discipline are very strong and very strict. We did not do it to hurt Roskate, but the reputation of the entire community was at stake. Of course, you will agree with me that it's better to sacrifice one member than sacrifice the entire community and have people say bad and incorrect things about us here and there. Um, what about in the sight of God? Roskate disobeyed. And disobedience is a great sin in the sight of God. It's even the root of every other sin. So, sir, you just have to take this in good faith. There's nothing we can do about it. She has to go to save our reputation. We're sorry, sir. We are really sorry. Listen, you might be looking at this from the eyes of mortals. But that's not the way God sees it. After all, I mean, God is making things possible. Even after all the tomorrow. After all, God made me see you and made you see me in the first place. If God doesn't want anything or doesn't have anything for us in the future, we wouldn't have made it possible. Listen, do you think all these things that are happening and all that are just happening just like that? You understand? God wants me to marry you. He wants you to marry me. Jumbo, I will not marry you. I can't. Not after the troubles you've cost me. I did it for you. You ruined my vows. Well, you might think it's ruining your vow. Why do you think God will allow me just to ruin your vow if he didn't sanction all this? I want you to think in that direction. Please, please, please. Marry me. You won't regret it. No. The last thing I want to hear now is this kind of talk. Look, I, 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 I need to put myself together. Okay, I'm so confused. I need to get my life together again. Just leave me alone. You're a qualified medical doctor. So where does the confusion come from? I mean, you didn't buy your certificate. Any hospital will jump at your offer to work for them. So, how does the confession come? Well, yeah. right now I have two some agents to start looking for a house to buy for us in Lagos, or even a land to build our own house. If all come to naught, I will build a hospital you and let you manage it. You will still see that God will still help us and bless you in the hospital. I want you to consider this. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, I am praying now and asking God for his direction. So just, 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 just let me be. Is Holy Mary. Clap for him. Where was Jesus born? Bethlehem. What did you say? Bethlehem. Clap for her. Okay, now let me see who get this one. Who can recite the Apostles' Creed? Hmm. Okay. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, 
the only son of God who was conceived by the Virgin Mary. Father, 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 I'm sorry, okay? I was the one that brought them here to teach them the Bible. Please don't be angry. For what reason? Eh? Is this a church? Or are you father? What is the sex sister from the convent? How to teach this much in the Bible? Are you a good example of yourself? You can see. Before I open my eyes, you are already at home. Also, My friend, you better go and marry and stop wasting your time. Nonsense. Sister, sorry. Sister, sorry. Yeah, I bought uh, some gifts I bought for you from Lagos. Thank you. Yeah. And also to ask you to follow me to Lagos because there are one or two things I want to tidy up in Lagos. And with you by my side, I believe I'm going to tidy it up. Besides, it's good for you. I mean, change your environment, see things, air your mind, forget this pressure. And don't say no. Okay? Don't say no, don't say no. Yes, that smile is a yes. Oh. Please, where is Mama? Mama is inside. Let me see. Alright. So fucked up. Well, you achieved all you had to achieve here. Yeah? And that was because you were there to see me through. You had all the luck. Look, that's not where I want us to go now. Where? Enter the castle secret. Okay? I'm lost without you, lost without darling. You. Come back to me forever, together. Oh, my love, can't you see? Can't you see? My heart is broken, heart is broken. Please come back to me, to me. Remember when we used to play together, and I said you'd be my wife forever. Where did the love go? Where did the love go? Remember when I gave you things and money, and I gave my heart to you, my honey. Where did the love go? Where did the love go? My love without you, my love, my love is making life unbearable. Sharing my heart oh, yeah. without you, my love, my love is making life unbearable. I don't know what to do. You. Back 
to me. Come back, come back to me. I need you in my life. Cause life without you, life without you. Remember when we used to play together and I said you'd be my wife forever. Where did the love go? Where did the love go? Remember when I gave you things and money And I gave my heart to you, my honey Where did the love go? Where did the love go? My love without you My love, my love is making life unbearable Beautiful, you know, this thing just started unfolding. That was why I couldn't sleep. But I'm not complaining anyway because I think uh, more or less they are beautiful pictures. Roskate. Yes. Let me ask you this question. Have I made you happy on this journey? Do you feel happy? be this happy and it's a promise from me. Alright, I want to ask you a question I've been asking but I want you to give me your honest and final answer. To be honest with you, Roskate, if you tell me no this time, I will never ever disturb you. But I want something to come out from your mouth. Will you marry me? What you to say it? Will you marry me? Yes, I'll marry you. Oh. <sighs> happy. <laughs> so, so happy. Life without you, my love, my love is making life unbearable. Life without you, my love, my love. It's breaking my heart, it's breaking my heart, my love is making me go crazy, crazy. Please come back to me, come back to me, and sharing my world oh, yeah. without you, my love, my love is making life unbearable. I don't know and what to you, do, my love. It's breaking my it's heart. Breaking my heart. You, my oh, love. it's making me go crazy. Making me go crazy. Please come back to me. Come back to me. Sharing my world. I love you, my husband. I love you, my dear, dear wife. So You're my wife. I'm not your wife. You're my wife. I'm not your wife. I'm not your wife. You're my wife. I'm not your wife. You're my wife. I'm not your wife. I'm not your wife. No, 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 no. 
Please don't say it's too late I'm lost without you lost without Darling, you. come back to me Forever, together Oh, my love, can't you see? Can't you see? My heart is broken Heart is broken Please come back to me To me Remember when we used to play together And I said you'd be my wife forever Where did the love go? Where did the love go? Remember when I gave you things and money And I gave my heart to you, my honey Where did the love go? Where did the love go? My love without you Without you, remember when we used to play together, and I said you'd be my wife forever. Where did the love go? Where did the love go? Remember when I gave you things and money, and I gave my heart to you, my honey. Where did the love go? Where did the love go? My love without you. Is making life unbearable. 